Patrick McNeil joining out the intermission by Ren Miranda Huskies defenseman Dylan Gill. Dylan, your club comes to Cape Breton 5-5 five and five record playing even. What do you make of the season so far? Yeah, I think it's been an okay start for us. We've got pretty high expectations for our group, whether we have it amongst other people. I think we believe we've got a good group in our dressing room, and I think we can still take it to another level here throughout the season. Obviously a highlight for the offseason for you. You get drafted by the Tampa Bay Lightning. Did you know it was going to be them? What was that experience like? Obviously, it's a draft, like everyone says. I didn't really know whether I was even going to get drafted or not, and Tampa was one of the teams that had shown higher interest in me. It was certainly surprising to see my name by any team, but it was a pretty big honor. It's an incredible organization that has a lot of tools, so it's very special. You went dragon boating in the summer. Tell us about that. Yeah, it wasn't necessarily focused on the dragon boat aspect. It was more for raising money towards a couple of local cancer societies. And one of my old teachers, her daughter, actually got diagnosed with cancer as a young kid. So it was very personal for her. And we grew very close over my couple years of high school. So it was very special to see the specialty it was for her. And it meant a lot. So it was a lot of fun. I actually got to do it with my brother, too. So it made it even more fun and raised money towards good foundations. We didn't win the races, but still went home feeling pretty good. We raised the most money. So wish you all the best. You mentioned your brother, and we have a couple brothers. Your brother Spencer now in the QMJHL, drafted by Ramuski. You had the chance to play against him last weekend. What was that like? It was crazy. My parents and my grandparents made the trip all the way up to Rouen, so it was a long road trip for them, but very special, very worth it. There's not a whole lot of words that can describe it. It was the first time I ever played against them, so it was a little bit bizarre seeing them on the other side of the ice there. A couple smirks here and there, but it was very special. You're wearing an A on your jersey. Just tell us what that responsibility means to you. It's my second year with the A on my jersey, so it's a little bit more common experiences and expectations for me, I guess. But just obviously a loud voice in the dressing room, leading by example. Kind of basic, cliche things you could say, but I guess at the end of the day, a lot of little details and little habits and stuff that they want all us leaders to bring towards the team. And in the long run, it's going to help us out a lot. You were named to U17s when you were in your 16-year-old season, and that was still in the middle of everything COVID-related. So you got to do a virtual game camp instead of a regular camp. How was that experience? Did you get a gauge of how different it was versus a regular year? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a great opportunity to take part in their camps, and it's all the best players from across the country, so to be a part of that, it's a special experience, and obviously you learn from everyone, and everyone has different experiences to how they got to that point, so it was nice to learn from a lot of different people that I wouldn't necessarily always connect with, so it was very special. First time playing some familiar faces in the queue with Samuel Johnson and Jordan Cote tonight. Tell us about matching up against them all those years in practice in Runarena. Yeah, playing in junior hockey, the guys you play with, they're your family, they're your brothers. You grow fond of them and you grow very close with them, whether you come from different sides of the world or whatnot, but you grow very close with every single guy on the team. So it's obviously a little bit special and a little different seeing your past teammates wearing a different jersey, but it's still a game nonetheless, so just got to focus on ourselves and hopefully we get the win tonight. Do they have any special deeks planned for you tonight, do you think? I'm not sure. That'll be up to them. I guess we'll have to see how the game goes. You're a New Brunswick guy. People listening to you now might not know that you speak French as well. How much did that help the adjustment to run Arena? Yeah, it's obviously, it was a huge tool for me going there. My billet dad only speaks mainly French. It allows me to communicate with him a lot more thoroughly and kind of build a more solid relationship with him. So I'd say that's the most important thing that it's really allowed me. And obviously, throughout the community, it's a lot easier to communicate with people, whether they speak English or French. For those listening, Dylan went to the other Riverview High School in the Maritimes, not the one in Cape Breton. I think you played soccer growing up a little bit as well. How much does that help conditioning for hockey player? Yeah, it's obviously in my summers growing up, I would play a lot of soccer. I kind of didn't really focus super duper 100% of my time on hockey growing up until probably Bantam. So I think soccer really allowed me to have a kind of dual aspect, dual perspective of the sporting world. And obviously, a lot of my best friends today are friends that I grew from playing soccer, same as hockey. So it's helped me a lot with the conditioning. I stopped playing a couple of years ago to focus on hockey, but it's built a lot of friendships, a lot of good relationships, and I'm still close with a lot of the people I met through the sport. I was guilty of this on Twitter the other day. How often do people miss one of the L's in your first name? Very often, honestly. <laughs> it's probably happens people miss it more than they get it correctly. We talked about you speaking French, but Rick Aranda's had a history of bringing Maritimers in and having success. We just saw Tyler Heinem. Well, we just saw a soccer ball almost go over Dylan <laughs> said. We apologize for the near injury. We just saw Tyler Heinem play in the AHL last night. What do you think it is about Ron Miranda? Why do they have success integrating English players? I wouldn't really specify it as only English players that have success here. I think sure. it's, it's a great organization for developing players, and a lot of the guys that they develop are developed through the core of the organization. It's not guys that are brought in from other teams to go on and have success. It's a lot of guys that they draft, they develop, they put through their system, and stuff Stuff like that. So I think Tyler Heinem is just one of the many examples of that. You, you could find a long list of people that have had long successes in hockey and even life. They promote academically stuff like that. We have a lot of awesome tools here, so I think that's probably one of the main reasons why a lot of guys have success. 
You're not wrong about the returning players. I look at my notes from last year, and I didn't have to update a lot. For those who hadn't seen you play before, how would you describe yourself as a player? I think I'm a 200-foot defenseman. I can play all three zones, all situations. I'm kind of learning how to play my own style in this league now. As an 18-year-old, I have a lot more responsibility, and I'm usually playing against the other team's top guys every night. So it's a good challenge to learn how to maintain that, as well as trying to get on the offense a little bit. A lot of learning curves, but I'm doing my best to manage it all. and just try to learn every day, every game, every practice, stuff like that. If I can take away something every day, it's going to help me a lot in the big picture. Fans are why I appreciate that. Fans in Tampa, mate, one day as well. Thanks for the Stone. Best of luck this year. Yeah, thank you very much. That's Dylan Gill joining us at the intermission. You're listening to Cape Breton Credit Union Eagles Hockey 1270 CJCB.